Welcome back to another episode of Rapport Masters. I'm your host, Robin Dreek, the former head of the FBI Behavioral Analysis Program and Spy Recruiter. And today we're diving into Technique 8 from my book, It's Not All About Me, the top 10 techniques for quick rapport with anyone. And the technique we're focusing on today is connect with quid pro quo. In the intricate dance of building rapport, one technique stands out, quid pro quo. It's about more than just exchanging information, it's about kindling a connection through shared experiences. As an example, let's go back to the spy recruitment operation I mentioned in my last video about Anatoly. During the early stages of the recruitment operation, Anatoly and I were getting together for dinner at a fine steakhouse in New York City. This five-star restaurant had a beautifully crafted chess set in the lounge as we were waiting for our table. Anatoly was drawn to the set as he handled each of the finely sculpted pieces. As Anatoly was handling each of these pieces, I said to him, Anatoly, I'm curious, who taught you to play chess? Was it a mentor or a family member who sparked your love for the game? Anatoly became reflective as he responded, it was my grandfather. He was a master strategist and he passed down his wisdom to me. I responded, I can relate. My father introduced me to chess at a very young age as well. I still remember the thrill of receiving my first chess set as a gift. Do you recall who gave you your first set? Big broad smile entered his face. It was my grandmother. She saw my fascination with the game and surprised me with a beautifully crafted chess set. It was a cherished gift that I still carry with me on all my overseas postings. Our conversation lasted hours and our bond deepened as we chatted about our fond memories of family, food, and traditions we were each experiencing growing up. Active curiosity fuels the fire of connection, igniting deeper bonds through shared memories. By delving into Anatoly's past and intertwining it with my own, we forge a connection that transcended words. Quid pro quo isn't just about information exchange, it's about understanding with empathy and mutual respect. It's all about them, not us. In the intricate tapestry of building rapport, the technique of quid pro quo shines as a beacon of connection. Through active curiosity and shared experiences, we delve into the depths of each other's stories, weaving a bond that transcends mere conversation. As we exchange memories and moments, we build bridges of understanding, empathy, and trust. Remember, in the realm of building connections, it's not about us. It's about fostering a genuine connection that resonates with the other person. Embrace the power of quid pro quo in your interactions and watch as the threads of rapport grow stronger with each shared moment. Until next time, my friends, cultivate meaningful connections and let the magic of shared experiences shape your interactions. Stay safe.